Hi everyone. This is an overview of Quest Machine's dialog system integration. To enable the integration, you need to import two packages. The first is in Plugins, Pixel Crushers, Common, Third Party Support. The second is in Plugins, Pixel Crushers, Quest Machine, Third Party Support. Make sure to import both packages. The manual is located in Pixel Crushers, Quest Machine, Third Party Support, Dialog System Support. This documentation describes how to set up your scene with Quest Machine and the dialog system. For this overview, we're just going to look at the demo scene. The demo scene has a Quest Machine game object with a dialog system Quest Dialog UI. This component handles conversation content in Quests, redirecting it to the dialog system. It also has an optional Dialog System Quest Alert UI that redirects Quest Machine alerts to the Dialog System. The Dialog Manager game object has a Dialog System Quest Machine Bridge component. It also has a common library Lua that gets automatically added by the bridge and a Quest Generator bridge that we'll save for a different tutorial. The Dialog System Quest Machine Bridge performs three functions. It replaces Quest Machine tags, such as counter values, in Dialog text. It redirects the Dialog System's Quest Log class to refer to Quest Machine quests. And it adds Lua functions to the Dialog System that you can use to control Quest Machine quests in your conversations. So let's take a look at a conversation. This is the conversation for the Harvest Carrots quest. The conversation has three branches. The first branch offers the quest. The second branch handles dialogue when the quest is active. And the third branch handles dialogue after the quest has been successful. Let's take a look at the first branch. We have a group node that uses the standard current quest state function that's built into the dialog system, but the bridge has redirected this to quest machine. It checks if the player has accepted the harvest carrots quest or not. If not, it shows the offer text, including a tag that shows the maximum number of carrots that the player needs to pick up. If the player agrees to accept the quest, we use the GiveQuestLua function that the bridge added to the dialog system. Those functions are documented in the manual. Similarly, this node checks if the quest is in the state where the player needs to return to the NPC, as shown by get quest node state. And if so, it sets that state to successful and sends a message system message to give two coins to the player. So now let's see how it's set up in the quest. This is our version of the quest for the dialog system. If we look at the main properties, we're using a new content type called dialog system conversation quest content. That allows us to select a conversation from the dialog database. 
there's also a button that will open up that conversation in the dialogue editor. We've also set the active and successful states to play the same conversation. Note that the journal text and HUD text remain unchanged from the Harvest Carrots quest that's in the original Quest Machine demo. We've only changed the dialogue text to use conversation content. So now that we've gone through how this is configured, let's see how it plays. It just uses the generic dialog system UI, which of course you can customize to look however you want. We'll accept the quest. We see that it comes active. If we talk to Johan again, we reach a different branch of the conversation. And we can go through and complete the quest just like the normal quest machine demo. And that's it. I hope that gives you an overview of what you can do by combining Quest Machine and the dialogue system. Thanks for watching.